Greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to the Thursday edition of Brian's Bible Break as we unpack verses from God's Word and reflect on them. This morning we're in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15 reading from the New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. And Lord, as we come into your holy presence to pause and to reflect on your word, we pray, O oh God, that you will speak a word of encouragement and hope into our hearts to guide us through this day as we seek to worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. As I was meditating on this verse, the praise song, um, We Bring a Sacrifice of Praise, kept ringing through my, my mind and through my heart. And I'll put a link to that praise song on this, on this uh, video. But it is that, that sense that God created us for worship created us for praise and that praise song goes we bring an off, an off a sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord and it is that sense that as we journey through our day God provides us with a multitude of opportunities to sing his praises to worship him in spirit and truth to give him glory and praise and so the author of Hebrews is, re is reminding us that it's through Jesus. In other words, it is because of Jesus that we have this opportunity to praise him, to praise God. And so he says, through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise. In other words, not on Sunday alone, not once in a while, but continually May our lives be a continuous offering of praise and sacrifice, a sacrifice of praise and worship to Almighty God. And it is through Jesus that we are able to do this. It's through Jesus that we can come boldly to, before the throne of grace where God sits as our sovereign Lord. He says, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. For those of us who are in Christ, who openly profess the name of Jesus, the fruit of our lips is praise. The fruit of our lips is testimony. The fruit of our lips is worship. The fruit of our lips is testifying to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Let everything that is in us give worship and praise to Almighty God as a sacrifice of ourselves, that we will be living in holy sacrifices unto the Lord. And it's not hard, friends. We just have to have our hearts and our eyes fixed on Jesus. And when we do that, we see multiple opportunities to give God glory and praise. And so, friends, whatever you're about this day, where, whatever you're doing, seek opportunities to give God glory and praise. Seek opportunities to worship the Lord in spirit and truth. Seek opportunities to praise His holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. May your life be a sacrifice of praise unto the Lord. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. And Lord, we pray that as we journey through this day, you will give us moments to pause and to give you praise. We pray, O oh God, that that. Everything we say and do will be for your glory and lift high the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, will you lead us into a posture of, of praise, a posture of worship. And Lord, may our lives be a living sacrifice of praise unto you. 
that those who see us will see that we truly love you, that we worship and adore you, and that in all ways you'll be glorified through the words we speak and the things we do. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this morning for this short reflection on God's Word. I hope that it has been an encouragement to you, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's Holy Scriptures. So, friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.